This project was all about trying to make a very ambitious superhero film on an extremely limited schedule and budget. Uh, we feel the world is ready for a new superhero, and that superhero is Scuba Man. Scuba Man. Who is this Scuba Man? Scuba Man is the hero for the next generation of fans. He's got the gadgets. He's got the costumes. He's got the superpowers. You know, he can breathe in really shallow water and stuff. He's got it all. I came up with the idea for Scuba Man while working on a documentary in the desert a few years ago. And unfortunately, at the time, we didn't really have the technology to pull it off. But uh, recently we got a hold of an HP Z800 workstation and using that and Adobe CS5, it completely changed everything. You've got to understand that Scuba Man, it's a very effects heavy project. I was working with 4K footage and green screen elements and 3D elements and atmospherics and I actually use CS5 to put it together. Now the fact that CS5 can use all the RAM in my Z800 made a huge difference. So I could comp things faster, I could produce things much faster, so I could actually get Scuba Man done on time and on budget. Well, we knew that this movie was going to have a lot of visual effects and to make it easier for the visual effects artists and us in editorial, we wanted to have as much image data as possible. So shooting 4K was just a natural for us. But the problem is it just takes a lot of processing power to actually make that happen. I don't understand anything you're saying because you're talking through your smoker. No, like, you, you need to talk to me normally. You're not scuba man anymore. <laughs> For this particular show, we were actually able to take the footage from the RED cameras and bring it into our Z800s and import the R3D files directly into the timeline. And the Mercury playback engine in Premiere Pro was able to play that back in real time. Yeah, a lot of people ask me why Scoop Band isn't ever in the water. Well, um, let's just say he has issues. Scuba man, you never told me what happened to Life Raft Boy. He drowned. To help create the look and feel of this movie, we use the Dream Color Display because it's perfect for color critical applications. So another thing I liked about the Z800 is that it's totally expandable. Now at one point during this movie, I actually needed more hard drive space. So I got a hard drive, opened up the side of the Z800, popped it in, didn't need any tools or anything, and it just worked. I have a plan. I can't wait for people to see the final product. You know, the crew was awesome to work with. It was just a, a fantastic experience overall. And honestly, we couldn't have done it without the Z800 and CS5. You have to get over what you think SCUBA stands for, you know? It could stand for Special Crime Unit Building Adventure or Super Crime Fighters Battling Evil. You know, maybe not that per se, but something cool. <laughs>